Hey guys, Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. If you're like me, you probably use Google Play Music, but found out it doesn't work with Alexa. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a skill in order to bridge Google Play Music to Alexa and still be able to use the voice commands. Let me just drag my face out of the way. I had to temporarily use use some online screen recording software because OBS keeps crashing probably because my computer is a little out of date so hopefully I'll be sorting that out soon right so as you can see I've got a few, quite a few albums Christmas pretty much I've got pretty much every genre on here uh, most of this music I've actually uploaded myself using the Google Play Music Manager, which is a quick tool to allow you to upload your music, so you can listen to it on your Google Home, um, or just keep it in your Google Play Music online cloud. Right, so this tutorial is actually going to be quite quick, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Alexa Developer Console. This is where you make your skills. So make sure you've got an account for that. Click create skill. For the page load, I'm just going to call this music tech. I'm heading away. Then you just click create skill. Make sure you left it on the custom, which is the default. When you get to this page, you want to start from scratch. Right. So you'll now get to this screen. This is essentially where you modify your skills. So you want to scroll down to where it says JSON Editor. You want to then highlight all of this and press delete. And then I'll have this linked in the description. Just copy all of this code. Control A. Paste that into here and then scroll up and press save model. Right, model saved. We then want to scroll down to interfaces. And make sure the audio player uh, and you can have the display interface on if you want and uh, enabled just click save interfaces all right now that's saved if you want to follow this, the second link in the description which will lead you to he hero queue which is it's essentially a server uh, which allows you to host apps. Essentially, we're going to use this to host our server, which will interact with Google Music and Alexa. So, I'm from the UK, so I'm going to select Europe. So, the app title is quite important because this is what gives you the URL. So, I'm just going to put for this example um, tech. Tech music dash Andrew. Sorry about that. I thought I could hear someone talking. So tech music dash Andrew. So I'm going to copy that since that's available. Right here. Here I am going to paste it. Use the end. Demug mode. 
No, I don't want to debug my so I'm just going to type in false. Uh, here come the interesting bits, so you have to type in your email. So I'm going to type in mine. So it's going to ask you for a Google password. You do not type in your main account. For this to work, you're going to need two-factor authentication enabled on your Google account. You're going to need need to head to, to the third link in the description, which is to Google App Password, which will give you a special password just for this service. So what you're going to have to what you're going to do is select App Other. I'm just going to call this Music and press Generate. It's giving me this one password. And right, so I now come back to the main tab. Paste that in. Make sure there's no spaces and deploy app. Now, if I scroll down, um, you'll start to see the log of it reconstructing the app. Uh, I will come back once this is complete. It takes anywhere from five to ten minutes. Right, so oh, it is just finished deploying. So if you go to view, you won't see anything because this the way that this works is it sends post commands, and so there's no actual web page on it. So, oh, if I actually go into the manage app, uh, you c here's where you can see everything running. So, for example, oh, you can go on the activity and you'll be able to show you if you've edited the values, or if I just move my head out of the way, I can you can click up here, view logs. So if you've asked it to play a song, song or anything, it will tell you on here. So, oh, it's working, in, and it is now showing on the logs, and it has fetched, fetched my music library, so it now knows every song that's on my Google Play Music. I mean that, you know, it's connected. And one last thing I like to do. Just before we connect it to our skill, is is I you are you are I like to go and use this service called Caffeine. Essentially, this will ping in the app every thirty minutes, so it doesn't go to sleep. So this is quite a useful tool to use. Apart from um, the it will have to have a break for six hours every day. That's the only downside. So if I put this in, my app will now keep running, in and it will go to sleep at midnight. Right. So now we've actually got our link. We can go over uh, to the developer console again scroll down till you see endpoint and then you need to choose HTTPS under SSL certificate type choose use my endpoint it's a subdomain of a domain that has a wildcard certificate from a Certificate authority, and then you need to make sure you just copy your URL, paste that in there, forward slash Alexa. And then you can save endpoints. So the last thing you need to do is Click anywhere outside that takes you back to, through to the main page and click on build model.
this will save it one more time and then it's going to start building the skill see this innovate name this is how you can talk to your skill so you'd say Alexa launch G music and then it it would launch it then you can ask it to play some songs right quick build successful well, now we can go into test full build successful good um, I should tell you that you actually won't be able to publish this skill you can only put it in test mode but if it's in test mode it means it'll work for any device that you own right so in development mode which is test I'll give it a second or two now I can type I open here so So if I send that. Welcome to G Music. Try asking me to play a song or start a playlist. Not sure if you could hear that, but it is. It's reading out what it said, so I could say play. What should I play? Uh, play the Beatles. Sorry, I couldn't find that song. Ask for a song. Um, Alright, well you get the gist. It it works. I'm not I'm not actually going to play any music because I'm going to get copyright strikes. Uh, but it works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. It's quite easy to get it up and running. When it's up and running you don't need to do anything again if you buy more songs in google play or upload anymore it will automatically resync and find them right i've been andrew and i'll see you next time bye